I'm Derek Diedrichson, author of Humble Home Simple Shacks, available on Amazon.com. Also, thanks to YurtsofAmerica.com. They uh, spread the word on many of our videos, good friends of ours, YurtsofAmerica.com. Mucho eye candy over there. Uh, speaking of which, here's one of the tiny houses, a model you'll get to see at our workshop in Memphis, Tennessee, coming up in April. This one's from Joe Everson of TennesseeTinyHomes.com. We'll talk about some of my designs. Here's a tree house I did as well and some of the budget friendly ideas, repurposed materials uh, I, I work with. Also be building some pallet furniture, lawn chairs, things like that that you get to keep. And uh, most importantly, aside from building two structures, actually building, we're having campfire discussions at night. One thing we're discussing, decor on a dime. So here's the idea is this is a bunch of old scout books from the 50s, 60s. Mount these in a wall, pressure frame them in. They are instant art for just about no money. Speaking of art, this is going to be quick. I'm ad libbing here, everything. These are paint brushes, dried ones, some uh, throwaways usually I had. Mount them to a board, frame them out. They look kind of funky to each their own. This is palette wood, uh, both art or a splash of color in the structure, but also it has two shelving surfaces on it as well. So kind of interesting to look at and functional. This here I use as an emblem on a, on a uh, cabin I built called the Cub. I found out later it's the clutch plate I found in the trash from a 1957 Chevy. Kind of interesting, the story behind it. Uh, you can save a lot of barn wood to make art and wall hangings out of it, old pallet wood as well, or you can use them as coffee table uh, tops, complete with the titanium grade metal recycled box there. Stain, it's your best friend, found these the side of the road, bar stools, and 15 minutes later and with some free stain found on the side of the road too, sold them for 50 bucks and they look nice. Here are some pipe fittings as legs on a coffee table, a quick and simple solution. Even simpler, this is a stump. Just painted the top, had it chainsawed for a table. This found in the side of the road, cut the table leg short, picnic table, painted it orange. Uh, more pallet chairs here. Like I said, we're building these at the workshop while also building and designing two cabins. I must emphasize that. Um, this is a interesting bent stick I found, mounted it to a wall with a orange kind of highlight plate and hung a lantern from it. Kind of dig it. Funky. This is in Brooklyn, New York. We were on a TV show set, and I just really like the calico look. Keep this in mind while designing of that recycled wood. Uh, this is my voyeuristic bird house or bird window. It's an Ikea bowl flipped upside down. Hang the bird feeder under that. You can watch them. They don't see you. This is a pallet wall my brother's working on, all free. Kind of interesting. Uh, Front-loading washing machine windows can be used as clubhouse portholes or windows. So can dollar store plates when mounted in a wall. If you want to get all floral-like, an old tea kettle that I found at the dump. Very colorful. The reason I chose it kind of highlights things or makes for an interesting uh, attraction. This is uh, something my mother did. Low maintenance. It's mostly rocks, just a few flowers. Here's some art made out of scrap wood I had. Friendly monster art. I sell these once in a while, but instead of throwing the wood out, I just paint and doodle all over it. This is a giant industrial pallet next to a marsh. We found this after a storm made into a deck. Uh, Sausalito Houseboat Community has these little mailboxes. This one in particular I thought was really interesting. Wow, this is going fast. Lots of ideas. Uh, here's a ladder my brother gave me he was going to chuck. I disassembled it. Kindling, screws, and uh, a couple boards as a result. Think beyond the box. This was out in the Berkshires. An example of just hanging a bunch of junk on a wall, and it kind of looks cool. All discarded stuff. Um... An example here of choosing one or two elements in your cabin or tiny house that are very colorful as a focal point. Um, an example here of how toys can also be art or furnishings or decor, I should say. These are pipe fittings, very like diesel or steampunk here, a ceiling light fixture from the Berkshires. Uh, an example of more funky, weird, colorful, colorful uh, art. Don't be afraid to get weird. Then again, you know, I know some of you aren't into that. Some homemade art. Lamp I found at a yard sale for a dollar. Table I found on the side of the road and repainted. And a tiny Ikea stool. Total budget under 10 bucks. And yard sale paintings? Mess with them. Why not? 